Hey guys, this is Steve Good. I want to introduce you to a new feature that I'm going to be adding to the blog. And it is a program that will allow you to download the patterns from the scroll saw workshop whatever, without having to go to the online catalog. Now the reason for this is that the catalog is getting very large. There's over 1800 patterns in there. And even though the online catalog can be searched and all the patterns are in categories, when you're just wanting to find something fun to cut this weekend or you don't have a specific pattern you're looking for or a type of pattern, but you just, you just want to browse through the uh, catalog, that's hard to do. So what I've done is I've taken all of the patterns in the catalog and created a thumbnail picture of each one and I've put it in a fairly large PDF file and along with this PDF file I've written a small program that lets you browse through that PDF file find the pattern that you would like to have type it into this program and it will automatically generate a link to download that PDF for you now I am going to charge a a small one-time fee of three dollars for this program and PDF uh, but as I update the PDF with new patterns, uh, which I'll do on some uh, regular basis, probably once a month, I'll add the latest patterns to the PDF, and you'll be able to come back to this web page right here and download the latest version. And we're going to start uh, this little demonstration by downloading the program, doing the install, and showing you how it works. So eventually when I get this page totally finished, the latest version number will be right here. And when you run the program, which is simulated in this uh, image right here, the version number will be right here on this uh, little logo. So let's go ahead and click it. Now what will happen is you'll go to the uh, PayPal pay site. You'll pay your $3 and then you will be directed back to this page where you can download the program. So what you want to do is when you get here you want to bookmark this page uh, so you can go back to it every month and download the latest version. So let's go ahead and click the download button and the requester will come up here to uh, save the install or the setup program. So go ahead and hit save. And depending on the browser you're using, uh, your download may go to different places. I'm using Firefox and I've got this little arrow up here I can click and it'll show the latest download. Uh, if you're using uh, Internet Explorer or some other browser, just save the setup program to your desktop or someplace where you know where it is and uh, that way you can go run it. So I'm going to run it from here. So I've clicked on it and here's the uh, install program running and this is just the safety warning asking you are you sure you want to run this install so just hit run uh, now we can actually start the uh, install by clicking yes here uh, you can either change the directory where it's going to be installed or just leave it at the default if you leave it at the default um, That'll make it easier when you download the next version because you won't have to remember where you installed it and go back to that same directory uh, because the update is going to want to go into the same directory so it uh, overwrites the previous files. So go ahead and hit next. Um, I would advise going ahead and creating a shortcut on your desktop for this program. That'll just make it easier for you to, to find it and start it. So click that little checkbox if you want a shortcut. Hit next and now we get to the install and we can hit install. Uh, when it finishes here you can have it launch the program but uh, I won't do that right now we'll launch it from the desktop. So you can go ahead and click finish. Uh, now again go ahead and bookmark this page so you can get back to it and if you ever lose it it's no big deal just email me and I'll send you the link to it. Okay here we are back at our desktop and over here is the icon that it created for the pattern downloader and now I'm going to give you a quick little demonstration of how it works and then maybe you'll see the benefit of why you would want to use this as opposed to going to the uh, online catalog. Go ahead and start the program and you can see it's a fairly small little program. Right here it shows the current version number so this is the release version number one and um, as I make changes, I will change this number right here and I'll post it on the blog and send it out in the to the subscribers in the email newsletter uh, so you'll know when there's a new version. 
Also, if you just visit that download page again, I will have the latest version uh, at the bottom of that box uh, so you can know whether you need to update or not. Okay, once you get it up, uh, we have an area right here, which is a text box, where you can enter the name of the pattern you want to download. And what that will do is it will automatically create a link right here that you can click on to download that program or that pattern. This button right here opens the catalog, which is the PDF file, which is installed with the program. And of course, this is your exit button. So let's go ahead and click the open catalog. The little program will always stay on top. And here we are. We've opened the uh, PDF that has all the patterns in it. Now, I recommend that you have Adobe Acrobat Reader installed. And this is the latest version, DC. Uh, and to follow this tutorial exactly on your computer, you're going to want to go to Adobe site and download uh, Acrobat Reader and keep it updated. You should always keep it updated anyway. Um, if you don't have uh, Adobe Acrobat, your web browsers will uh, often open the PDF for you. Or if you have another PDF reader installed, it'll open in that. But uh, it, it'll still work the same uh, as far as being able to download the programs you'll just be seeing a slightly different screen than what I'm showing here. So here we are in Adobe Acrobat Reader. We've got the catalog loaded. I'm going to go ahead and close that down. And let's make it, let's see. Actually, I'm going to close it down again. I want to try something different here. Um, when you click through this, let's see, there's a way where I can make it. Yeah, I, what I did is I changed it to where when I use my scroll button or when I come over here, and uh, scroll down the page. I just wanted to go one page at a time. So right now I'm actually turning the the uh, click wheel on the middle of my mouse to change pages. So as we're scrolling down through these patterns, and there's 208 pages of nine patterns each, uh, we can see the thumbnail of what the pattern looks like, and underneath the thumbnail we have the name of that particular pattern. So let's say we're scrolling down through here and we find this Be Mine box, which is a little Valentine's Day heart box. You go up here and click in this. It'll highlight all that text. Just go ahead and type in the name of the pattern. And you can see that it generated a link right here to that pattern online so it'll download it. So if we either click the Enter key after we get done typing or come down here with the mouse and click the link, it will go out, find that pattern, download it, and open it in this uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader. Now, if you look up here across the tabs, you'll see that this is the one we just opened, which is the Be Mine box. And right back over here on this first tab, we can take it back to the catalog. So once we get the new pattern open, uh, if you want to go back to the kit, you can leave that open if you like, or you can close it if you printed it. Or you can go over here to file and save it onto your computer, wherever you save your patterns, uh, whatever you want to do with it. But if we go back over to the catalog and say we're looking for another pattern and we're scrolling down. And let's say we want to do this born to fish. Again, we just click up here in the text box. Type in the born to fish. In this case, I'm just going to hit the enter key. It will go out, download that latest uh, born to fish pattern. And you can see we can scroll down and print that pattern out. Again, it's opened a new tab. So we can go from the Born to Fish back over to the Heart Box, then back to the calendar or the, the uh, catalog. And we can just continue to do that with all these patterns. And you can see this is a very easy way to browse through the patterns when you're not sure what you're looking for, but you just want to find something to cut that weekend or tonight or, you know, whatever you're, uh, goal is for you know having the pattern um, again once I update this pattern catalog I will change the version number you'll be able to go back to that web page or I will uh, let you know through the email newsletter or just off the blog what the latest version is you can download it run the install again and it'll update everything for you so that's the plan that's how it works uh, one little side effect of this is it does, if you notice, that it opens your browser in the background. And uh, that's no big deal. You can just close it, you know, if you don't want it open. Uh, but uh, that's just a side effect of how the program works. And once you get done, you can exit out of this program. It'll leave this catalog open. 
and you can go ahead and either print out these patterns or save them or whatever you want to do. So I hope you see some benefit in that. I am going to charge $3 for this service and I'm just going to use that money to help pay for my hosting service. Um, the size of the website is getting so large and the activity is high enough that they're uh, starting to talk about charging me a little extra for a different uh, right now I'm on a shared server and they're wanting to put me on a dedicated server so that's going to cost me a few bucks so that's why I'm doing this and then hopefully it'll it'll have enough value for you that uh, you'll think the three dollars is okay okay I'm Steve Good thanks for taking a look at this program and we'll catch you next time